The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to select cases in such a way that you can conduct a partitioning follow-up Pearson chi-square analysis when an omnibus statistically significant effect is observed in a R by C contingency table analysis. And the example data in this demonstration are based on the fictitious study of ad types and clicks, which I describe in the foundation section of the chapter. I'm just going to reanalyze the data in the context of an omnibus 2 by 3 chi-square analysis. So click on Analyze, Descriptives, Cross Tabs, Add Type, Rows, click into Columns, and then Statistics, Pearson chi-square, and Cells. I just want the rows for this demonstration. I'm going to follow this up because it's statistically significant. So here we have the 1.9%, 2.6%, and 2.1% that is found to be unequal. Those three percentages are found to be unequal with a Pearson chi-square of 11.976. Again, I'm going through this quickly because this is not the main purpose of the video. When you obtain a statistically significant effect, you have the problem of trying to decompose this and partitioning is one method that I describe in the textbook, which involves conducting a series of 2 by 2 Pearson chi-square analyses. So one analysis including just trending and purchase data, and then another 2 by 2 where it's trending and search data, but excluding purchase. And then finally, purchase and search included in the analysis, but not trending. So how to do that is you have to select cases. And to select cases, click on Data, Select Cases, and I'm going to select the add type that I want. So if condition is satisfied, if add type equals 1 or add type equals 2. So this function in SPSS is going to exclude the add type of 3, which is search. So this comparison is going to be trending versus purchase. Click continue, click OK. SPSS is going to create a filter which includes a value of 1 for those cases that should be included in the analysis. So to run the analysis, click on Descriptive Statistics, cross tabs, and I just need to rerun this add type click analysis, and it's going to exclude the search data. So you can see trending and purchase, it's dropped out search because I didn't select add type equal 3, which is what search is equal to. And in this case, the Pearson chi-square is equal to 11.14, which is statistically significant, which implies that the difference between 1.9 and 2.6% is, di the numerical difference is statistically significant. So I would keep on with this selection procedure going through all three comparisons. So data, select cases, if add type 1, and add type 3 this time. So it's going to exclude add type 2 in this analysis. Click continue click OK, and then run the analysis again. And so now I've got a Pearson chi-square, which includes trending and search data, but it's excluded purchase type ads. And then finally, I need to choose 2 versus 3. Select add type 2 and 3, and click continue, and OK, and I need one more analysis. Easy to do. There we go. 5.22 is the Pearson chi-square value associated with the difference between 2.6% and 2.1%, which is statistically significant. So there's only one comparison in the follow-up 2 by 2 Pearson chi-square analyses that wasn't statistically significant. It was the comparison between trending and search which had a numerical difference of 2.1 versus 1.9. So that numerical difference was not found to be statistically significant using the partitioning follow-up approach to a R by C Pearson chi-square analysis.